Good evening. My name is Eric Hayden. I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Moorhead City, North Carolina. You've probably seen the forecast for many, many days about snowfall. Tonight is our first official snow forecast here at the Weather Service. You might say, Eric, I've seen this forecast for days. Hasn't been from us. We usually don't put out a forecast for snowfall until we get about 48 hours from it happening. So it's Sunday evening. We expect snow to arrive Tuesday evening. So we're in the window where we issue a forecast. And one of the reasons we hold back in the weather service is traditionally a snowfall forecast is very hard, especially here by the coast. Really anywhere in the country, it all comes down to the storm track. You have to be close enough to the storm to get the moisture, but you also have to be on the cold side of the storm. Earlier this week, we talked about three scenarios. The one farther inland would be rain for us. That's not going to happen. It's going to be one of these two scenarios or somewhere in between. If we get a track close enough to the coast, heavier precipitation, substantial snow still on the table. A track farther out to the sea, not as much precipitation, colder, drier air winds out. We see hardly anything, maybe just a light dusting. So somewhere between these two scenarios is what's going to happen. But we still have on the table those higher amounts just in case because we still uh, have some flexibility in the forecast. So please check back Monday morning. Check back again Tuesday. You'll see adjustments upward or downward. Not huge changes, but small tweaks. It is a forecast. It will change as we get closer to the event. One thing, if you've been watching us, we started using these probabilities to give you a percentage of confidence on what may happen. This one specifically, snowfall more than two inches. It got up into maybe the 60% range for the Crystal Coast uh, about a day and a half ago. And then ever since then, it's gone steadily down. So now about a 45 to almost 50% chance if we're going to see more than two inches of snow the most favored area, roughly Highway 17 East. So Jacksonville, Stella, Swansboro, Emerald Isle, over through Beaufort, Oriental, uh, kind of that area. And then farther to the north and west, you, you still could see two inches or more of snow, but it's much less likely toward Greenville, especially up toward the Raleigh area. So if you've been following along, the trend is certainly lowering. If you like these graphics, uh, probability of more than an inch, two inches, six inches, 12 inches, just visit our website, weather.gov slash MHX, and then uh, click on winter or add slash winter, and you'll be able to see the same graphics as well. So this is our official for first forecast. I know on this, you've probably seen some forecast even a week ago. Don't trust something more than 48 hours out. We're not holding back information. It's just extremely difficult to forecast snow more than a couple days in advance. So many things can change. I know some of you see this and you're really disappointed we're not predicting as much as you've seen on this the past week. This is our official first forecast. We don't have control over that, uh, just what we put in front of you. So generally speaking, one to two inches across east and north Carolina. Again, lesser amounts, maybe a dusting to hardly anything up across the north and west. And if we're going to see an inch or two, most likely, as I showed you with those probabilities, Jacksonville, North Topsail Beach, uh, Swansboro, Hubert, uh, Newport, those types of areas, as you get farther away from the coast, less likely to happen. There is still some uncertainty with this forecast. Don't anchor on this. Don't just see this and think that we're certainly going to get it or we won't see eight inches of snow. All of that is still on the table. So please check back uh, as these forecasts will be adjusted with any future updates uh, with the models. As far as timing goes, specifically for snow, we're not worried about sleet. We're not worried about freezing rain. At one point, it looked like we might have some ice. Not worried about that. It's going to occur Tuesday overnight. We could see some snow showers and flurries during the daylight hours very late Tuesday, but any impactful snow will be after sunset. Temperatures will be below freezing, so anything that falls will stick to the roads Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then the snow ends. In fact, if you don't wake up early enough on Wednesday morning, it may be out of here. Uh, but the hazardous travel may linger depending on how much we get because we expect temperatures to be really cold. And that's the other aspect of this storm. For a lot of us, it's going to be a very minor event for snowfall. The bigger event is going to be the cold, persistent, brutal temperatures this week, kind of peaking Wednesday night into Thursday, where we may have wind chill values uh, down in the single digits. So as far as impact goes, mainly a minor event. And with that said, mainly toward the coast as of now. 
again, wiggle room. It could trend inland. It could trend farther out to sea. But the best forecast right now, the highest probability for those uh, inconveniences, winter driving conditions would be Jacksonville to Havelock, Moorhead City down along the coast, and also up uh, through a good chunk of the Outer Banks, probably outside of Hatteras Village. Now, the other aspect of this once we get by whatever we get Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, it's going to be extremely cold. Temperatures Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, Thursday morning are going to be cold. So many, many days kind of peaking Thursday morning only in the teens, maybe lower teens, some of those colder spots uh, inland. And with that extended period of cold, perhaps some frozen pipe issues, uh, issues with our infrastructure. And then it's also going to be breezy. So if you're outside, uh, bundle up. Wind chill temperatures, that's what it actually feels like. Temperatures in the teens, when you throw in the wind, it will feel like single digits uh, for much of the area. So certainly cold Tuesday through Thursday, whatever sticks around on the roads and also on the grass probably will be here for a couple of days. We do want to tr uh, stress the cold part, dressing for cold. If you're headed outside, certainly want to bundle up. We're getting into the cold and extreme cold, so that's talking about extra layers, hats and gloves, and making sure you keep as much exposed skin covered up as possible. You could get frostbite in a short period of time if you're not appropriately bundled up. We hope you like this update. There is a chance that we might have some wintry mix again Thursday and Thursday night. You saw that on the timeline. We'll deal with that as we get a little bit closer. For updates, if it's a weather you love, it's weather.gov and just click on Eastern North Carolina or do forward slash Moorhead City and you'll get the local forecast for that. Please check back on this forecast. It's Sunday evening. We will make adjustments. We will tweak things and either continue to trend down or trend up if anything changes and be sure to follow for those updates.